Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of The Slovak Mountain Man. And yes, you read the title correctly. I just spent half the year reviewing Super Smash Bros Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. That's over 6 months of my time on this one video. And it all started back in the toddler days on a warm summer evening at my pal's house. Long before I hardly knew anything on games. But there it was, sitting atop a strange black box, Mario Kart. I knew that name but this wasn't the version I played at home. It was in 3D and used a weird controller. This is the Nintendo 64. I was so blown away that the image of Toad getting squashed by a giant Yoshi egg has been burned in my mind ever since, only to be introduced shortly after to Super Smash Bros. as the Pikachu I once knew was now a fat boy in a small wizard hat. My eyes were in tears from laughing so hard, but thunderbolting my way through Saffron City was pretty much how it all started, eventually picking up a GameCube with my mom's friend, only to fight my brothers over who gets to play Melee with our one controller, right before it was taken away to Slovakia. For shadowing to that same friend also buying a Wii as Phil hogged onto Brawl until that console too was later sent to Europe and being tired of not getting a chance to experience Smash myself I saved some cash to pre-order the Wind Waker HD Wii U bundle which through mods and official support allowed me to finally enjoy every Smash game released spending the entire week unlocking all the characters and even waiting 4 hours online just to demo the upcoming title not only did I get a coin and soundtrack to go alongside it but over 200 hours of unforgettable bonding with my brothers as it quickly became our go-to multiplayer game with Link replacing Pikachu as my main fighter. And with the Wii U desperately hanging on for dear life, Nintendo teased their next system to launch alongside the biggest Zelda game to date, easily abandoning our old friend, throwing it off a cliff as the Switch broke record numbers, just recently outselling the N64's lifetime sales, and out of nowhere coming back full circle to surprise announce Super Smash Bros Ultimate during the Smash 2018 Direct, and how every character from the previous entries are making a comeback with over 100 stages returning alongside them, more than 850 songs to collect, a completely new story mode to explore, and long-awaited fighters like Ridley and King K. Rool debuting through updates with more to be added as future DLC. The hype train was off the rails as Ultimate literally felt like the perfect word to describe this insanely ambitious video game, making the December 7th release date that much harder to wait for, with developers even counting down until launch featuring original artwork of their beloved characters. So sit back and relax as we take an in-depth look at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. And did somebody say Smash? September 7th as 9 months now that I've been working on this one video. With that intro alone taking about 3 weeks to finish and even more animation sprinkled throughout this review, 